All right, so I am um, uploading the video you guys are gonna watch right now. And what I realized is I need to put in a quick disclaimer before we get to the meat of this. And that is that uh, I held on to this video for a long time to make sure that I'm putting videos out in a more consecutive manner. Meaning, I didn't just drop this video when the wheels got done in January and then decide to make you wait until like the end of February to show you the paint and then, you know, the exhaust and all that stuff. Um, so it just made more sense to hold on to stuff and let you guys see these, you know, week to week instead of month to month. Just want to give you that quick disclaimer. Now we'll get into the video because I got to get back to math class. Later. Yesterday, um, I went to my buddy Keith, we got quick jacks, brought them back down to the house, and uh, luckily they put in the Yukon along with Keith and our buddy Pete, and came back, and uh, the goal was to get the CTSV, CTSV off the ground, into the air, and get the wheels and tires off for powder coat. And, uh, yeah it didn't happen so we're gonna get into that and explain what happened so quickly before i sit down and actually explain what happened i want to show you the jacking points kind of give some context of why this didn't work out so the first jack point is following that gap between the fender and the front door so we'll get down here you can see that cutout. That's number one. The second one is in about the middle of the passenger, rear passenger door. Uh, just the rear door. And there it is. Okay, so I just showed you that quick crazy, crappy, uh, you know, shaky GoPro video of where the access to the pinch welds to jack the car up is. And you might notice something is a little different. They're back from powder coat. So obviously we went black and, um, I had to take the whole car there. It has been gone since from Monday to Friday. Not a big deal because I don't drive the car in winter. It is Indiana winter and it's just, I don't drive. It's been crappy anyway. So fortunately, you know, I have my daily driver, um, but I just didn't really want to have the car somewhere. I just feel better if the car's here and it's just four tires and rims, you know, like, that's not that big of a deal, but uh, I ended up taking it to a different shop than I planned on. Shop I took it to has done work for me in the past. They did really good work and did cost a little bit more, but again, risk versus reward, right? You always should look at that factor, not always go the cheap route, possibly have things end up going poorly. And I did find some information out about the company I was gonna use that really kind of bothered me because I saw some posts that they made of them jacking cars up and it just didn't look so good. So, wheels are done. And I think, dude, if the paint was good, I would be happy with this car as is. We would polish it out and put the ceramic coat back on it. Um, unfortunately, the paint is not where I want it and if we were to just keep the paint there would be wet sanding there would be repainting air areas and the cost is just so extensive versus just wrapping the car so we are going to wrap the car um as i was leaving to get this picked up a fedex truck showed up with the corsa axle back exhaust kit uh, that is actually going to get installed tomorrow. I randomly called the guy I know and said, hey man, I just got this today. Any chance you can get me in or do this for me? And he goes, yeah, bring it by tomorrow. So 
24 hour turnaround on that, which is great. And then I found out that the grill surround, I ordered one that's black. It just got shipped from California, so that will be here soon. The car's going through a transformation, uh, but I think this series should be kind of fun because we're getting to see the car go from stock to something different. And I always think that's fun. I like watching that process. I like seeing other people's cars go through that process. But the biggest reason I really wanted to share this video, even though again, it's just me talking, is to give that information to other third gen CTSV owners or possible third gen CTSV owners that, hey, a standard set of quick jacks is not gonna work. You need the extensions or you need the extended version. But this channel is hopefully gonna get into more action oriented things that are more interesting than just talking. Uh, but in the meantime, you gotta bear with me. Watch this car change, it's gonna be fun. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.